before two more past masters do battle in a countdown quarterfinal. Thanks uh, very much indeed. We have another quarter-final of uh, Supremes for you tonight. Of course, we are working towards the grand final for the uh, Supreme Championship of Countdown. You can only do this about every 15 years when you've got uh, 60 or so champions and runners-up. But uh, we've got another two to introduce you to in just a sec. But first, of course, here's Carol. Yes, just to say a brief hello. So I'm looking forward to the pictures on this one. You know, the old pictures that you see with the contestants. Yes, because the two we've got on uh, today, um, well, we'll look at their pictures in a sec. Here's as they are right now. Please welcome Janet McRae and Damien Eady. Well, here's Damien. I don't suppose he looked too different from uh, what he looked because it was uh, what, about two years ago that he was on. Uh, Damien Eady from Blackpool. He's now 27, civil servant, and uh, a lifelong fan of Blackpool Football Club. There he was just over two years ago when he was champion of Series 28, and then he was runner-up to Don Reed in the seventh Championship of Champions in January of last year. So his record stands at an excellent 11 wins out of 13. That's uh, our king of Blackpool here, Damien Eady. Well done, Damien. <laughs> And now here's uh, Janet McRae. Well, Janet is from Goffs Oak in uh, Hertfordshire. She's a housewife, and she appeared on Countdown back in 1987. In fact, she was a runner-up in that uh, final of Series 12. That's how she was. And she was the runner-up to the great Stephen Balmont, of course. You saw Stephen a couple of weeks ago, who has the joint record of 83. That's the highest score in a half-hour version of uh, Countdown. Now, her record is four wins out of six. She says that these days, most of her travel involves chauffeuring her two daughters from one place to another and she's hoping to stay in the driving seat today so good luck to you janet mccray <laughs> i just have to say that all our um, supremos actually are slightly nervous no matter how good they are they're all a bit nervous because we've sort of dragooned them into coming back in the olden days of course they volunteered to come on and now as champions or uh, Runners up, we rang them up and found them from all parts of the country and said, hey, we're having this great series, come on. So here you are. Whether you like it or not, you're back with us. <laughs> so we love it. But it's very easy. You'll slip back into the old routine. Now, last time, our G of the D came up with a winning eight-letter winner, uh, Park Close, P-A-R-C-L-O-S-E. -S That's a, a screen, an architectural feature of a church. Well, we thought that was absolutely fabulous. And this chapel, no doubt, came up with some more winners today or there'll be an altercation, <laughs> I'll be bound. So pray, welcome Tom, oh praise be, Connor, with Catherine Stokes. And it really is a pleasure, I know Catherine agrees, it's a pleasure to be on this kind of show I'm with winners. I don't know about Catherine, I've never been a winner. I've been a runner-up. I've run up and they've said, not you, but I've never been a... <laughs> <laughs> OK, yes, they are winners. They really are supreme. These, uh, all our champions have come back. It's great to see them all again. So here we are, Janet McRae and Damon Eady. Janet, the rule is just the same. You go first. Consonant, please. Thank you very much, Janet. B. Consonant. L. Consonant. Go on. R. Vowel. I. And another vowel, please. E. And another vowel. A, consonant, H, consonant, N, consonant, please. And another consonant, and that is L. OK, the countdown for everybody starts now.
So what do you say, Janet McRae? Seven. Seven, good. Damien? Uh, seven. Seven from Damien is? Hireable. H-I-R-A-B-L-E. H-I-R-A-B-L-E. Hireable, Janet? Liberal. So, liberal and hireable. H-I-R-A-B-L-E. Is that OK? Yes, it is. That's fine. That's the US spelling. Yes. Yep. And liberal, of course. We add inhaler as well, if it was any, any use to you. But uh, well, well done both for seven. Then. Yeah. Mm. OK. So, American spelling OK without, without the E on hireable. Fine. Yes. <laughs> so, seven points to both to begin. Seven and seven. Damien, your turn. Thank you. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Damien. T. Um, vowel, please. E. Another one. Another vowel. O. Consonant. R. Consonant. S. Vowel. U. Um, consonant. Y. Again, please. G. And uh, consonant, thank and you. And a consonant. And R. Thank you, indeed. Here we go on round two. time Damien um I save seven all right save seven good Janet seven seven what's the save seven Torres yes Torres and yours Janet Storers Torres we can take we can't take Storers because there's only one S yeah. I'm sorry yes about that. indeed we could have had surgery for seven but we have an eight grouters <laughs> what people that mm. grout tiles and things yeah yeah, provide Were, were you going to risk yeah, that? I've got it written down. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. See if you've got it written down. Yes, you have got a grouter. Oh, you, well. you didn't think it was in? I wasn't sure. You never know where they are words, so I stuck with seven instead. Yeah, well done. Well, yes. OK, but grouters is there for, for eight. Yes, sorry about stores. Okay. Good. OK, so we move on. Janet, well, Janet doesn't move on. She stays on seven. You stay on to 14, uh, Damien. But we now do move on to you, Janet. Consonant, please. Thank you, Janet. T. Consonant. C. Consonant. S. Vowel. E. Vowel. A. Vowel, please. E. Consonant. N. Consonant. T. And consonant, please. And a consonant, thank you. And P. Fine. And uh, this now is the time. Seven. Seven, good. Damien. Seven. Janet, seven? Patents. Patents. Yes, an S on. Yours? Same word. Right, patents. Yes, yes, both um, right. Yeah. Uh, we also had cassette. I'm just checking. That, that's right, isn't it? C-A-S-E-T-T-E. -E. No, it's got two S's. Cassette. Has it? Has it? Oh, what a shame. What? <laughs> I thought we only had one. <laughs> oh, what a pity. But patents we'll have. We'll give you a second. Yeah, patents is good, but uh, we can't have cassette. Oh. Never mind, Tom. I'm annoyed. Tom. I'm annoyed. <laughs> 14 and 21 is the score, and now we come to the numbers. Damien, numbers, please. Um, one from the top, please, Carol, and five from anywhere you like. And Thanks. five small numbers, thank you. And five. Right. We have eight and four. Another four. Oh, and eight. Ten and 25. That could be tricky. The target is uh, 412. So, four, one, two, four hundred and twelve, the time starts now.
So, 412, uh, Damien. I just scraped in with 411. You scraped in with 411. I've not written it down, but I think I've got it off. Okay, well, no, as long as you can get it right when we go through it. Right, uh, what have you got, Janet? 411. Okay, well, I'm going to go for Damien first. <laughs> 8 plus 8 is 16. Okay. 8 plus the 8 gives you 16. Times 25 is 400. Multiply it by the 25, that does give you 400. And 4 divided by 4 is 1, plus the 10. OK, 4 divided by 4, that gives you 1. And you've got the 10 as well, because you haven't used that. Add them all up, 411. Yeah, well done, well done, Janet. I did it in exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. yep. OK, good. Well, that's seven points of both. Carol? Um, no, I'm sure it's possible, but I haven't got it, I'm afraid. Thank you. Well, you can't be more frank than that, can you? No. Carol being absolutely frank today. I don't know whether Frank's being Carol, but you can find <laughs> out. It's in my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> so, scores then, uh, 21 and uh, 28. So, just seven points in it as we go into the break. But first, of course, we want a word or two from Tom. Right, sorry about cassette. Um, I've been talking about little old fellas, and I love little old fellas talking in pubs. And one chap come in and his mate said, you missed him, he was in last night. He said, who? He said, that pal of yours. He said, what pal? He said, the big fella. He said, what big fella? He said, the big lad. Six foot eight, 27 stone. He said, I don't know him. He said, you know him. Six foot eight, 27 stone. You know him. Stiff leg, drags his leg when he walks. He said, he said you know him. Six foot eight, 27 stone, drags his leg. He's got his arm, a, broke his arm, arm in a sling. He said, no. He said, I've seen you with him. Patch on one eye, scar across here. <laughs> Armourless thing, drags his leg, six foot eight. He said, it could be anybody. He said, <laughs> I've seen you with him. Completely bald, except for one red hair. <laughs> he said, oh, ginger. Terrific. OK, end of part one. See you again in part two very soon. Thank you. <laughs> to make sure you stay cool under pressure, no the 1997 Laguna comes with air conditioning and an electric sunroof as standard. Laguna by Renault. It's all worked out beautifully. Mi amor, parece diferente esta noche. Que no termina de tipear el informe mensual de marketing. Es un plomo y me están presionando. No te lo puedo creer. Todavía no has oído hablar del nuevo software de reconocimiento de voz de IBM. Tú simplemente le hablas y te lo escribe automáticamente. Estoy anonadada. What would you say to a Cadbury's mini roll? Yummy! Cadbury's mini rolls. Hey, Houston, I can see my house from here. Man, that's one small step. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Daybreak in the Arctic. The polar bear rises, ready to start his day, with his diet of fish, fish and, oh, something called Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. How extraordinary. It contains delicious apple and raisins, is ready in just 45 seconds, and has all the crunchy taste of a cold cereal, only it's hot. Oh -ho. New Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. All the taste of a cold cereal, only it's hot.
That's safe way. Hi, welcome back, and I'm uh, delighted to be able to tell you that in our endless quest to give you, the viewer, nothing but the best, she's been working very hard throughout the break, and Frank has come up with a solution, 412. <laughs> yeah, Frank's given me the solution. 8 times uh, 25 is 200, 10 minus 4 is 6, add those two together, 206, and then if you say 8 divided by, that's the other 8 divided by the other 4 is 2, uh, multiply the two together is 412, but it's rather pathetic because it took me about three minutes. Sorry. It's excellent, Carol. Not pathetic at all. Excellent. Well done. So, the scores are just the same as they were, obviously. 21 and 28. Damien, your turn, sir. Vowel, please. A. Uh, consonant. G. Consonant. D. A vowel. E. Consonant. M. Consonant. B. Vowel. U. Consonant. C. Ooh. And uh, consonant, please. You don't like this lot, do no, you? No, thank you. Oh, sorry. S. <laughs> No, oh, well, we, the rest of us do, Damien. <laughs> Here we go. Six. Only six, Janet. Six. Right, yours, Janet. Caused. Caused, yes, and yours? Budges. Budges. Yeah, B U T, as in shift over, B U D G E S. Yes, yeah. budges, we've got that. We also had badges. And you won't believe the seven letter word. I don't even know what it means. I've heard people saying it, but would you believe scumbag? <laughs> <laughs> is in, it's his so, in as well, isn't it? It yeah. is, yes, yes. What does it say it means? Contemptible or disgusting person. Slag. I'm sure that's not the full meaning, but anyway, that'll do for now. Scumbag, and it's right, seven letters. Okay, but we'll take the other two. The other two are right. Yeah, well, we, yeah. you know, we're a very contemporary programme, and if it's in, it's in, and that's the end to it. So, yep. good, that was in there. Wind soup. People might have got it. Yes. Right, um, 27, 34, and Janet's letters again. Consonant, please. Thank you. P. Consonant. D. Consonant. J. Vowel, please. E. Vowel. E. Vowel. A. Consonant. Y. Consonant. R. And vowel, please. And vowel. Thank you, Janet. Another E. Good. Well, we might find this fairly easy. Let's see. Yes, I want to see P.D. James when I see that, don't you? But uh, I know it's not a word, but it just reminds me of P.D. James. Um, Janet? Six. Six. Damien? Yeah, six as six. well. Six. Yours? Reaped. Reaped, yours? Deeper. Deeper. Deeper and reaped. We have six here to offer Tom. Yes, indeed. But both of those. We also had jeered, as in boo-boo, and we had prayed. And would you believe D.J.? Yeah. It's the slang, you know, for disc jockey, and it's in, isn't it? Yes, it is. D -E -E -J -A -Y. That's right. Yeah. Phonetic type of word, isn't it? That's right. DJ. Like David Jacobs, wasn't it? Who's your DJ, DJ? That's right, yes. Yeah. Yes, hello there. 
Hello, Hello David. David. <laughs> Hello, David. He'll, David will be watching because he won't. He'll want to make sure you aren't too good, Tom, you know. Okay, well, of course, that's yeah. right. Well, you I, didn't get, I, I spelled cassette wrong, so he's well away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi, David. Uh, you'll come back. Well, you'll come back one day, David. This guy's quite good. <laughs> right, 33 and 40. Um, Damien, your turn. Vowel, please, Carol. Okay, we start with I. Uh, consonant. C. Vowel. O. Consonant. T. Consonant. Q. Yeah. Vowel, please. A. Consonant. V. Consonant. S. And a vowel, please. Thank and you. And a vowel. That's I. Start with an I and end with an I. Here we go. Damien to say? Down to a five, I'm afraid. All right, Janet. Five. Yeah, OK. Your five, Damien. Visit. Visit yours? Coast. And coast, yes. Well, we're both down to five here, Tom. OK. There's a few. Uh, Stoic was there as well. Uh, but we think we've got one, which is... Is it in? Coates, yes. It's the plural for a coatee, which is a raccoon-like flesh-eating mammal. C-O-A-T-I-S. Coates. Coates. Uh, you don't see many of them around here. It's South American, isn't it? <laughs> Central and South America, yes. yeah. Coherty and chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's a raccoon type <laughs> creature. Uh, all right, well, we'll he, might, he might ring up and tell us. We never know. Yeah, yeah. The, the other two fives are fine. Yeah, okay. Fine. Right, 38.45, two rounds to go. Numbers from Janet. Um, can I have one high number, please, and any other five? Um, and five small numbers, yes, please. Janet. Okay. Four and five, all right, then. This time we have five and four, eight. <laughs> Those numbers again. Six and nine and the biggie, 100. And the target is 257. OK, 257, 257, there we go. Okay, two five seven. We want. Who's going to tell me, uh, Janet? I've got two four nine. Eight away. Right. Chance for you. I think I've got two five six. One away. Let's go for that then. Okay. Nine minus six is three. Okay. Nine minus six gives you three. Times the hundred is three hundred. Multiply by the hundred, of course, is three hundred. Then eight fives are forty. Eight and multiplied by five is forty. Add the four. To then, the to the forty. Yeah, and then knock that lot off. Knock it off, and you've got uh, 256, don't yeah. you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Frank, you tell us. OK, this is how you could do it. 100 minus the 8 and minus the 5, that gives you 87. 9 minus 6 is 3. Multiply those two together, and you have 261, and take away the 4. 25. Good. All right, so on we go now to the uh, conundrum. So if both ready, please. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. Yes, Damien. Amplifier. Amplifier, he said aloud. And there it is. Yes. Okay. So David Jacobs might well have got that, being an amplifier. <laughs> but
But Damien Eady got it, so with 62 points, we're going to see him in the semi-final of this group. So well done, Damien. Janet, obviously we won't see you, so it's a hail and farewell. But very good to see you after Thank all you these years. Uh, you're looking terrific, and we have this little present for you to take home as well. So Thank uh, you. say goodbye, and goodbye to Janet McRae. Bye, Janet. <laughs> right, the... Uh, Supreme's coming on uh, next to these two young chaps and they get back a year or two, I can tell you, back to the mid-80s. Here we have Ash Haji, and that's old Ash. He used to have glasses in those days and you saw his face on the old countdown box of the box game. He was on that for years. And Julian Huff is there and that's a young Julian. So these two young men are going to fight it out tomorrow. But uh, meanwhile, from Tom and from Catherine and from Carol. Yes, and Frank. And Goodbye. Frank. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Next today on 4, they say children can be cruel. Ricky Lake meets some youngsters who are fed up of jibes about their size. Weighty topics after the break. <laughs>